Chapter 109 Aqua Water Fruit A. There's the sound of a fight up ahead. Kang Chon's eyes lit up. Then he greeted Xiao Jin and violently scurried forwards. There's someone fighting. Could it be that those people aren't dealing with me, but ambushing the others? If that's the case, if we find them, we'll also find a way out. Kang Chon thought in his heart, but he didn't dare to be careless, carefully hiding his breath, slowly approaching the source of the fighting sounds. In an open area, hundreds of silhouettes were fighting miserably, and there was also a pair of powerful Jidan stage powerhouses fighting each other in the sky. Seventh level of the Jidan stage, a trace of surprise flashed in Kang Chon's eyes as he looked at the two old men fighting in the sky. From the fluctuations coming from their battle, it should be the seventh level of the Jidan stage without a doubt. Good fellow, this is to great powers fighting against each other. Apart from the Fengdu Mountain battle, I haven't seen this kind of scene yet. Kang Tian then swept towards the battlefield. Suddenly, Kang Tian's gaze was attracted by the two young girls fighting furiously in the middle of the field. Ha <laughs> ha, it's actually a pair of twins and their strength isn't weak at all. Kang Chion's eyes lit up in surprise when he looked at an aqua blue long-skirted maiden and a red-skirted maiden in the field. What's wrong, kid? Could it be that you want to heroically save a girl? Ha <laughs> ha. The Dan Emperor's laughter immediately came from his mind. Kang Chion lazily ignored him and carefully watched the battle in front of him. Those two twins were indeed very beautiful. Although they were inferior to flower thinking wrong, but with two twins standing together. The attraction caused by this visual shock does not be inferior to a beauty like flower thinking. Wrong either. Amidst the thick fog, Kang Tian hid his breath and hid to the side to watch the great battle ahead. The camp that those two twin beauties were in was clearly falling into the wind. And although the two seventh level Jidan stage powerhouses in the sky were still indistinguishable from each other, those two twin beauties were no match for that white-clothed young man. Kang Tian could see that this white-clothed youth had already stepped into the Jidan stage, and it was still a seven-turn purple Dan. And in the young generation of the Great Tank, this kind of strength and qualification was only second to the Great Tank Seven heroes. The two twin beauties were much weaker. Although the red-dressed girl had formed a Dan, she was only a five-turn green Dan. And the girl in the aqua blue dress, although she had a six-turn cultivation, she had not formed a Dan yet. And her strength wasn't much stronger than the red-dressed girl. If these two young girls hadn't worked together well, they would have lost to that white-clothed youth long ago. Kang Tian carefully watched the great battle in front of him, he knew that before long, those two twin maidens were going to lose. Kid, aren't you going to heroically save the girls? Now is a good chance for you to perform. In his mind, Emperor Dan was still urging him, causing Kang Chon to become a little impatient. I say you old man save your breath, even if you want to save someone. It might not be this time now, Kang Chon said. Ha <laughs> ha. I knew that you kid wouldn't let go of this opportunity to save a hero, and you still dare to pretend to be pure in front of the old man. Emperor Dan laughed at the words, You. Forget it. Don't bullshit with you. Kang Tian atmosphere. Then shook his head depressingly. Suddenly, an ordinary looking grey clothed old man walked towards the direction where Kang Tian was. It can't be that he's discovered me. Right. It can't be. Didn't Elder Dan say that apart from Yuanying stage powerhouses, no one can detect my whereabouts? Kang Chion was instantly puzzled. At this moment, Kang Chion saw the grey-clothed old man who approached him grinning at him, which immediately startled him. Kid, you've been watching for so long. It's time for you to come out, right? The grey-clothed old man laughed eerily, his gaze fixed on the place where Kang Chion was hiding. Clearly, he had already discovered Kang Chon, and had done so long ago. HMM really discovered it, Elder Dan, you're not fooling me, right? Kang Chon couldn't help but ask with doubt in his heart now. It seemed that this breath-converting technique wasn't as good as Emperor Dan said it was. 
looked an emperor's voice came out all of a sudden kid the fog around is what this guy made he should have sensed your existence through this fog kang chon sniffed indistinctly the fog around him was everywhere if it was really made by this guy it was not impossible for him to discover himself thinking of this kang chon stepped out from his hiding place and coldly looked straight at the gray clothed old man opposite him the gray clothed old man couldn't help but be stunned at seeing kang chon so young a hint of surprise flashed in his eyes knowing that he would not have been able to discover kang chon's whereabouts at all if he hadn't been able to do so through the surrounding mist the fact that this youth in front of him was so capable and also so young surprised the gray clothed old man kid who are you why are you hiding here the gray clothed old man asked in a deep voice if he didn't see that the youth in front of him only had a cultivation of the ninth level of the foundation establishment stage he would have thought that he was a helper found by the young family hmph that's what i'm going to ask you if you hadn't made this ghostly mist i wouldn't be lost here kang tion sniffed coldly not having an ounce of goodwill towards the culprit in front of him who made him get lost kang tion's cold words made the gray clothed old man stunned the youth in front of him didn't seem to have any fear at all he didn't even care much about the battle between the two jiden stage powerhouses in the sky which made him a little surprised kid i advise you not to mind your own business if you are lost wait here when the old man finishes them off he will naturally let you leave this place the gray clothed old man said in a cold voice he decided that it was better not to cause any trouble this youth in front of him was a bit extraordinary it was better not to provoke him if it was not necessary kang chon smiled coldly at his words let me wait who are you to do that either disperse the surrounding mist for me now or don't blame me for being impolite since he had made up his mind to save those to twin beauties kang tion naturally wouldn't easily agree to the gray clothed old man's request not to mention the gray clothed old man didn't have the strength to make him wait hearing kang tion's words the gray clothed old man's expression gave a start and his gloomy gaze instantly turned cold as he said grimly kid you're choosing to drink to your heart's content really i've never drank the penalty wine before so i want to taste it today kang chion smiled coldly then slowly drew out the long black sword behind his back his movements were very slow but he gradually exuded a powerful aura the gray clothed old man on the opposite side's eyes instantly stared as he suddenly felt a terrifying intent locking him down this can't be possible he's only at the foundation establishment stage how could he possess an intention the gray clothed old man was instantly shocked his face full of disbelief right at this moment kang chong raised his long black blade high an unparalleled hegemonic intent raged out from him and the terrifying intent instantly broke through the heavens and reached the nine heavens the gray clothed old man felt a huge pressure he violently exploded his aura for a moment the pressure of the eighth level of the jiden stage came to his face making kang chon couldn't help but be surprised this old guy was actually an expert of the eighth level of the jiden stage but at this moment he didn't have time to think he immediately chopped down with his blade break the sky facing an eighth level jiden stage powerhouse kang chon didn't even think about it and directly used his strongest blade heaven breaking immediately the heavens and earth shook and between the shattering of the void an unrivaled energy fluctuation appeared and terrifying true essence tumbled up rushing away like the yangtze river on the black long sword of kang chon asterisk 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 came out a blade a hundred feet long like a divine punishment from the end of the world tearing through the void in front of him directly descending on the gray clothed old man's head the gray clothed old man was instantly shocked as he roared up to the sky shield of congealed water the water spell was emitted and a huge shield was immediately condensed in front of the gray clothed old man with a light blue halo that looked incomparably gorgeous under the sunlight 
Kang Chong's sword ons instantly chopped on top of this huge shield, erupting into a deafening roar and a strong explosion, causing the crowd of people fighting in the distance to be startled. Everyone looked over unanimously. Even the two Jidan stage 7th layer powerhouses in the sky were the same. When they saw Kang Chan, who was fighting with the grey, clothed old man, they all looked shocked, as if they were somewhat unable to believe that such a young teenager was actually fighting with the grey clothed old man. At this moment, a clicking sound reached the ears of the crowd, and they were surprised to find that the huge shield in front of the grey clothed old man instantly appeared with a spiderweb-like crack, and then, with a bang, it shattered. Hiss. Everyone immediately sucked in a breath of cool air. Who was this youth? How could he be so powerful? A trace of blood flowed out from the corner of the grey-clothed old man's mouth on the opposite side, and his gaze was filled with shock as he said, What a strong power. Boy, who exactly are you? Although the grey-clothed old man wasn't injured very badly, his heart had been shocked to the extreme. The opposite youth was clearly only at the foundation establishment stage. Why was he able to lightly injure a Jidan stage 8th layer powerhouse, like him, with a single slash? This was completely impossible R. The grey clothed old man immediately did not dare to make another move. Zhong Tianhao, who was fighting with the twins in the distance, and Zhong Kixun, who was fighting against Uncle Ma in the sky, also came over with gloomy expressions, and they looked at the knife, wielding Kang Tian in the middle of the field with a face full of vigilance. On the other hand, Uncle Ma and the Yun family sisters stood aside in surprise. Those Zhong clan children and Yun clan children in the distance had also stopped fighting, and each side stood to the side, coldly facing each other. Kang Tian coldly swept a glance at the crowd with a blade-like gaze, causing everyone to unconsciously avert their eyes, not daring to face his gaze. You are not yet qualified to know my name. Kang Tian said coldly to the grey-clothed old man, the long black blade in his hand. Blossomed with a cold silver light, his powerful domineering aura shocking everyone. Nowadays, Kang Chong's strength was not an eighth layer Jidan stage powerhouse. It should be known that this guy was only an ordinary Jidan stage, and it was only the eighth layer. And the Millennium Crocodile that fought with him at the beginning were all a hundred thousand miles apart. You have to know that the Millennium Crocodile is the peak of the ninth layer, and itself as a powerful demonic beast, the strength is much more powerful than the same ninth layer of human cultivators. And this grey clothed old man in front of him was only an eighth layer Jidan stage cultivator who had formed the inner Dan at two or three revolutions and with an empty eighth layer Jidan stage cultivation. He was in fact just about the same as the cultivation of the hegemonic warrior Wu Gang. It was because the quality of the inner Dan formed was different, resulting in the difference in their strength after conjugation was also very large. So some geniuses would try to suppress their cultivation from conjugating Dan as much as possible, and try to improve the quality of their conjugation. Looking at the domineering Kang Chon, the grey clothed old man's eyes shrunk, the thoughts in his head turned rapidly, and he finally let out a cold snort and said, Foundation establishment ninth layer, an eighth turn. To be able to have such a cultivation and such a talent, you're definitely not a no-name today. The old man will give you face. Let's go. After saying that, the grey clothed old man cupped his fists and left. Elder Wu, Zhong Tianhao on the side, was instantly anxious. If the grey clothed elder left, he would not have a chance in dealing with the Yun family sisters. The grey clothed elder coldly glanced at him and said, Let's go. Even if we fight, the old man may not be his opponent. Saying that, he no longer made any unnecessary explanations. Go. Zhong Tianhao sniffed and looked deeply at the Kang Chon, as if he wanted to memorize the look, before finally shouting at the surrounding group of Zhong family's sons and daughters. As the Zhong clan's men and horses left in great numbers, the surrounding mist dissipated. Kang Chon coldly watched them leave and slowly withdrew his long black sword. Although he wanted to save the twin sisters, 
He himself did not have the slightest hatred with this group of people. There was no need to drive them to extinction unless the other party had truly provoked him. Many thanks to this big brother for saving my life.